Hey guys, my name is Kenny. I'm one of the admins here at Trade Tips. Today we're going to be talking about Fibonacci retracements and how we can use them to find short term trading opportunities. Today we're going to be looking at Doge and seeing how we can um, maybe do some short term trades with this. Uh, one of the first things I want to do is reiterate some of the um, concepts that we learned before. If I turn on my uh, 21 EMA and my um, 50 EMA, this one's going to be my fast EMA, my 21, and then my slow or my medium is going to be my 50 EMA. I'm going to use this to help identify trend because if price is above and closer to the 20 EMA, then we know that price is in generally going upwards. Whereas if we have the slow on top of the fast EMA, we know that the trend is going downwards. So knowing whether what the trend is is going to help us find these short term opportunities. Now, what is a Fibonacci retracement? Well, imagine if we had price that um, initiated here, it came up and it pulls back down. Well, there's a specific type of numbers that happen in nature and also happen and I guess in finance where um, traders decided that they wanted to look at the Fibonacci sequence to see which um, places of people can actually look for entries, especially if we're thinking that we're going to be going in an uptrend like this. So where can we end up finding a pullback, um, so to speak? And so the um, the most important numbers are probably the um, the 50%, um, as well as the 61.8 um, up to the 78.6. This, this area in here is actually what I call the golden pocket. It's one of my most favorite um, trading setups. It's a good um, risk to reward setup as far as buying the pullback because um, I can always just set up a stop loss that's past the 78.6 um, because if that's the case then there could be a possible um, trend change but if we're talking about um, an upward trend then I should only expect about um, a 61.8 or up to a max 78.6 percent movement. So in general, I think about half of the times that we, I do these trades, I look to see, I looked and find that about 50% of my trades stop, um, or the pullback stops at 50%. And then um, the other 50%, it stops somewhere inside the golden pocket before retracing back. So we're going to be looking for um, a, um, a big uh, push up, usually like this so that we can find maybe some um, short-term buying opportunities um, where we can just pie the pullback and make profit off the pullback on a shorter time scale. Right now I'm in the one hourly and I'm looking back here where okay we get our first little big move. I do want to note this um, as it could mean a possible trend change. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay it actually looks like we pulled up forward and we starting to have our first kind of a parabolic move here. So at this point in time, if I'm starting to see some sort of a parabolic move, you can even see that the exponential moving averages are having a hard time trying to catch up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just start um, building my first Fibonacci. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually, this is the wrong way. I wanna make sure that this is, um, I'm going to go ahead and click reverse and go ahead and make sure that this is actually where my buy zone is going to be. And let's go ahead and see if it goes any higher before, before we buy the pullback. Okay, it does. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over here. So this is not what I want to buy just yet. And let's see if it terminates. Okay, so we end up getting our first pullback. Now I did fast forward it on an hourly time scale. This probably, um, you know, this is this potentially could have been something you could have caught. So this is a 50% retracement move. And from here, I would expect, um, I would expect um, just maybe a, um, since it terminated kind of here, where it kind of pushed back, I expect that we can have a short term little um, uh, push up. And remember, these are short term trades. So if, especially if you're talking about day trading, 15 minutes, 45 minute time scale, um, this could be a trading opportunity for you. And if I um, did kind of the opposite where, okay, maybe this is my bottom and this is my top. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and reverse it again. 
then I can see uh, one of my possible trading opportunities is, hey, this is my bottom. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can um, take profit at the 61.8 or the 50% level in here. And so let's say that we bought, went ahead and bought that dip here at the 50% mark. I would try to see if I can just take some profit in here. And let's see what happens. There we go. We can go ahead and take our first little take profit right there. And this is kind of like some fundamentals as far as like how people day trade, right? We're looking for opportunities throughout the day, looking to see if we can find anything. And it looks like we have a kind of this uh, bullish wedge that looks like it's going to break out. Amazing. Okay. And one of the cool things about Fibonacci's is that you can actually extend them. And when you extend them, you can actually help, you can, um, find yourself some good um, extension opportunities. So it's like, okay, this has no um, clear resistance. So where could we possibly terminate this trade if we went to go long after the wedge break? So maybe if we go 1.382, um, that's actually, that's going to be an extension of the um, of a 38.2% retracement. It's just another one of those Fibonacci numbers that are super important. What we could have done here is that because we set up our zero here and our 100% mark here, we said, hey, I want to go ahead and buy on the break. And we have to look for some sort of um, area to to take profit in. Uh, after, um, after price kind of consolidated in here and broke out, what's a good take profit zone? Well, maybe I'm setting up a Fibonacci retracement or a Fibonacci extension at this point, you know, extending it out to uh, a 38.2% um, above the um, uh, above this high, uh, that could tell us a good take profit zone. So let's go ahead and see uh, what happens after to make sure if that's a good trade. Oh, and with that being said, it looks like I think we caught the the top on that move. And so. Um, after that, with that being said, if we catch the top of the move, then it would be important to see, hey, okay, are we going to develop um, uh, lower highs from here? And in case, in this case, we uh, we end up end up saying yeah, so we could potentially see a trend reversal, and that's probably exactly why we saw um, the big pullback. Now, in terms of Fibonacci, could this also have been a possible level um, that actually fit in line with the numbers? Let's go ahead and explore that. So I'm going to go ahead and find this top here, call that my zero. And I'm going to pull that back all the way down to uh, this, um, to our um, initial starting point. And would you look at that? So if we actually took a Fibonacci retracement, we found that it came exactly right. It stopped exactly right at that 61.8% mark. Now, is this just a coincidence? Yeah, it could be. And because for this same same exact reason, if everybody is looking at the same chart, looking at the same numbers, and everybody knows what a Fibonacci retracement is, or at least, you know, the big boy traders, they're going to be setting up bots or they're going to be setting up levels in which they're going to set up buy orders into. So if they have buy orders sitting at 61.8% uh, just sitting there, then and it also coincides with a um, like a support zone. Uh, this is one of this could be a very high um, probability trading opportunity for us if you can catch um, that bottom. Now, maybe let's say that you miss the bottom. What we can do is we can also play this short, right? Because if we believe that um, we had price go up here and we had a price reversal then I expect that if we have the price reversal that we should see some um, downwards pressure, right? So we've got the downward movement. I might see it come up a little bit and I want to see it um, move and continue down. So let's just go ahead and see that if we call this maybe our local top and I, want, and I call that my bottom, I'm going to go ahead and re click reverse on here. Uh, maybe we can go ahead and see if we can sell it here on the maybe the 78.6 or the 70 70 level and just let's just see where it terminates cool so it looks like we have a good shorting opportunity here if this were me i would probably take this trade here at the 70.7 level and see if we can go
but before I go ahead and say uh, press play, I do want to actually um, reverse this. And this is going to be where our take profit level is. So for me, I'd probably, if I would say um, this, and let's say that this was a stock. And so if we're getting puts um, at that 70.7% .7 level, I'd be looking to take partial profit here at the 50%. And then I'd be looking to take profit here somewhere in the golden pocket, probably around the 61.8 to around the 70.7% .7 just to be safe. And let's go ahead and click play on this trade and see what we find. Cool, so I would go ahead and take in that trim over there. And it looks like we actually had um, our orders um, perfectly um, set to, to clear out here at the 61.8 to 70.7 .7 level. Again, this is the golden pocket. This is one of my favorite uh, ways to do short-term trading, by the way, is to look for, uh, to see if we have a trend and to see um, if I can just capture all of those little minor moves um, when I'm here day trading. Now, I, um, we are running out of time on this video. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward this and I just do a couple more for you guys just so we can kind of see how we can use this uh, to find um, opportunities for, for trading. Um, so if we look at this move here, we did see, for example, uh, I see um, a big, a little build up versus and a big slam down, right? So if we wanted to say, hey, there's gonna probably be a pullback, some people are gonna try to buy that dip and we say that this is our zero and this is going to be our 100. Look, it ends up going and stopping at the golden pocket, the 61.8% level here. So that would have been a good shorting opportunity to look for because we know that there was a lot of downward pressure here. We don't expect that with a whole bunch of selling pressure that we're going to see price just magically go up and go to all time highs just because, um, especially after we have a big red candle. So we see some consolidation followed by another big move. Some people are gonna to try to buy the dip. So if we're gonna go ahead and do another retracement here, let's go ahead and see if we can see any um, opportunities with that. So it looks like we have our, our first little uh, shorting opportunity. It's gonna be here, we have it, we had it hit exactly the 61. 0.8% level and let's continue it forward to see if it actually produces any results and what I want to do here is click reverse and what that's going to do for us is tell us what where could be um, a good spot to find a uh, to find um, our take profit level and I forgot uh, I didn't do this earlier but I should have done it before uh, I want to go ahead and actually change where my where my uh, where my new marks are right this is my new low that's my new, um, the kind of say local high, and this is where I take a short. I'm looking here to take profit in this um, um, in this golden pocket area, somewhere around there. And if I can trim, I'd probably take a trim somewhere in the 50% area. Let's go ahead and fast forward this. Looks like we got our trim. Oh, and we do got our fill here. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have fun with this. Um, if you guys want, it's, you know, it is, I would highly suggest that you guys get TradingView um, Pro or one of the premium packages. It is worth the money to um, to spend um, um, on just this bar replay by itself. What that does is it allows you guys to um, try out trading opportunities as if uh, as if you were there at that moment, right? Because I can do this all day. Um, with a chart that's been pre predestined for me, right? If I were to like, for example, look at this chart and I said, hey, um, maybe, look, this is probably a 61.8% retracement. Look, I've probably done this too, much, too many times. See, look, this is our bottom, that's our top. It retraces down exactly to the golden pocket, just like I thought it would. And so with that, it's it's good to um, to start practice practicing these on maybe stocks or crypto that you um, that you love, and this is actually how you can um, um, do basically uh, day trading for a living if this is actually something you want to do. A lot of these trades are super highly profitable, um, and so and I, I use them all the time as far as my day trading goes, and so. I hope you guys have fun with it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you guys in the next video.